so it seems that the fifth of Spain have has just joined. Um, let me just m unmute myself for the shoutcasters. That would actually help, so that they can hear me. Uh, Nexu and Questor will be your shoutcasters this evening. Hello. Hello. Oh, Questor, Hello. you're Good very evening. low. <laughs> let me just give. Better. You yeah, much better. Okay. And Nexu, can you talk a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, you can hear me. I'll give you a little bit more volume. There, that should be better. Uh, seems that uh, the players have actually just subbed, so uh, time to uh, put on the view for everybody. So this is Spain against Italy, or in my words, pasta versus paella. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, cereal. I see in uh, Italy, taker, Italy, totti, briz over damn that's going to be a good uh, match and uh, of course ITX bad boy dems akrog it's actually uh uh let me see it's itacito itacito not ITX okay well that's why you're the shoutcaster this evening and I'm not <laughs> 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 uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit more volume I think that should be better um and I will be populating the Twitch TV chat, so uh, if you want to talk to me, hey, uh, <laughs> you're welcome. Um, anyway, I, let me just see if any of these... Which Do do you guys know which maps are going to be played? Yeah, um, this is going to be Italy's map, Tonga B8, and Spain's map is going to be Orbital SL. Okay, cool. Uh, and both teams decided for Team Survivor as their game mode of choice. I'm surprised to see so many Team Survivor matches. Uh, haven't really seen much uh, bomb mode or uh, capture the flag. I mean, capture the flag, yes, a bit, but uh, only just this evening we had. Uh, no, but this can be a very interesting um, map of a match because uh, both teams decided to go with a third party map instead of uh, the usual Team Survivor map like Twin mm -hmm. Pike and Casa. Yeah. Absolutely. Always uh, glad to see the third party maps being supported. And uh, thanks to everybody saying that I'm doing such a good job. Hey, it's not only me, it's also the guys at URT TV and uh, the Shoutcasters, now Questor and Nexu. Um, so, yeah, not all credits go to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if this were a one man show, it would be a lot more boring, <laughs> I can tell you that. And for the people wondering what song that Spanish song was just now, it's called Cannabis by uh, Ska P. S K A dash P and then Cannabis. Hey, we'll have to be a little bit in the mood, right? <laughs> anyway, um, we're just waiting for Spain to ready up, having a little bit of a siesta. And yeah, Demps is uh, my uh, teammate and Nexus teammate in in tribe, so uh, uh, we're rooting for him. <laughs> At least I am. I I don't know. I can't speak for Nexus, but oh, <laughs> well, I'm uh, rooting for the best team, obviously. Oh, so you're only for the winner? Yes. Come on. <laughs> okay, I just got a, a sign that the match is about to start, and there we see. I'm God. Uh, good luck and have fun and uh, enjoy listening to Nexu and Questor. Alright, so the match is starting off. We see here Spain here, Volgar moving up to the right side. Spain is trying to take hold. Spain has just lost their play there on the right flank. Italy here with a very strong possession of the bench area. Is a little bit hurt going back for the medic. No, he's trying to fend off here with a croc and he takes him out, getting a little bit of medic here. Poppy here flanking with this bad boy here, and Italy winning the first round. So, both teams seem to be playing very aggressively on this map now, which is actually perfect because this map is very. 
Hero a little bit hurt here, hot and hit, healing him up. Parker here trying to fend off here to the Spanish on the bridge area. Take, got taken out by Nate. Dems is very hurt. At blue spawn. His teammates is taken out here by Italy. And here goes Italy with the second round. So Italy is having a really good start in this match. So both teams probably deciding to take a notch down on the pace here. Here XP and Poppy taking out two of the Spanish player. Bad boy taken out again by Brish. Only Vogel left here, standing against two Italy players, so no chance there. So with only two minutes in here in the game, we already see the Italy team taking three rounds already. Yes, so Italy is off with a really good start here. Yeah, it was like a dream start for Italy. Ooh, it's the Tito here with a little bit uh, Blue team wins. of a rush without checking his corners. Tucker here taking position on the bridge together with Serio. And the first time out of the match is gonna be here after this round. Very nice grenade by Brace here on Bad Boy. So both team has three players left uh, in this round. Italy here with the possession of the map at the water tank area. We're just getting a bit hurt from uh, peeking there. Italy has the mad kit, so it's probably a uh, easier win for them, maybe. Spanish here trying to flank them here from the middle. But they might be a little bit too late. And Italy take them out, winning the 5-0 now. It seems like Brace is win 9-9-9, so... That's probably why the timeout is there. So this in this match, Italy's uh, highly favorite. In fact, they're one of the um, favorites in this competition, in this Nations Cup. And this is actually the second time these uh, Italy and Spain meet each other in the Nations Cup. First time they actually played against each other, that was all the way back in 2005, more than seven years ago that is, <clears throat> and during that time there was actually Italy that won with a very convincingly um, on, and also in Team Survivor mode, but there was a whole different ge other generation of players here, and the timeout is over, we're going back to the game. Seven years ago I hadn't had even the PC at that time. <laughs> So Brace with a grenade, rushing water tank. Spanish is not pushing there yet. Italy got a nice line all across the line, line here. They got a good possession here on the bridge area and at water tank. So it's going to be hard for the Spanish to push in. Acorker is trying to make push through the middle. Or he's trying to sneak around. Oh, and he's catching Team Italy here on the flank. Only Briss alive, four Spanish players. And the Spanish team might actually take the first round. And yep, Dem's taking the first round for the Spanish team here. It was a well flanked by Akrok through the middle. Nice double helmet here by Bad Boy. But he actually also TKs his teammate with his grenade. 
And that leaves him actually all alone against Hati and Zero XP here. Bad boy sneaking around here, but he's heard by Zero XP. So he shouldn't probably not have walked off that weapon there, because that pickup was audible for Zero XP. So Spanish team here pushing from the mechanics area. Acroc taken out Potty, but he gets flanked in the back by Over and get taken out. So three versus two here on in a Spanish office in Italian team. Dem's quite hurt. Waiting for the medic, but getting a little bit oh he was hoping for a little bit of medic here by Itacito, but um, Bruce was quicker than that. Little here pushing the water tank area, taking out Dems, taking out Itatsito. Italy regrouping, getting uh, some medic here, over covering the bridge area here, grenading. Ogre now is the only one left, and he's gonna get flanked by over here, and Italy taking the eighth round. So Italy is having a really good um, display of team skills here. And individual skills on this map. But then again, it is their map choice, so they probably practice a lot on this map. Ooh, Acro there getting a double helmet by Totti. Taking the ninth round for Italy here, so it's going to be really hard for the Spanish to come back here at this point. They really need to step up their game if they want to actually win this map. Ooh, nice playing there by Dems. Taking out Chris. Dems again taking out the Sure XP here. They're actually taking also out some bad boy. They're actually sneaking around looking for opponents. And he finds Itacito, but Itacito was a little bit faster there. James here rushing with the grenades, almost nade himself. But instead he got taken out by Takus Nate. The Sita was trying to come and help, but he wasn't fast enough there. And Italy really playing fast and furious here on this map. Little camping here, other than uh, regrouping at the water tank area. Dempsey trying for a flank. Get taken out by Zero XP. Zero XP with a double kill there. So only Acroc and Volga are left here, but they seem to be splitting up here. Or no? And they're trying to come close to each other again, covering the middle and the water tank axis. Oh, but Italy, Parker, take Volga out, leaving Acroc alone against three Italy player. Nice flanking there, taking out Totti. But still two Ital Italian players left, so... Ikrog moving through the middle, but got spotted by Tucker, and Tucker takes him out. So, what's your impression of this match so far, Questor? I didn't expect that the Italian team is going to to um, start so fast and lead by, by 9 rounds now. Ooh, nice flanking grenade by that boy there. And another kill there. But uh, he got taken out by Totti, but his teammate is flanking the Italians here. I'm trying to get some hits, and he kills Brist.
So finally, another round for the Spanish team, which they really need to uh, keep up the team spirit here. Yeah, the Italians have been playing this map really fast. This, uh, although I kind of expected that, because uh, Italians are all um, really good players on the automatic. The Cito here trying to land up a couple of guys here at the bridge area, and he's rushing them down. He got one, but he could not take Tati down, and Bad Boy on his turn got taken out by Over. Here with some really nice hits on Bogar. Oh, and another kill here with the deagle. But bad boy with the kaboom. Bad boy following Flanking. bad boy here again. Yeah, trying to flank here to see silence. But there's only actually two Spanish play left, and now only one left. So this this is this is really hard for the Spanish team to keep up if they split up like that. Along Tati here, not much action. Oh. There's an enemy there, but he's deciding to go with his other teammate at the water tank. So two Italian players versus three Spanish players. And Italian is taking their position at the water tank, waiting for the Spanish players to come up. Spanish yeah, players seem to be all around the bridge area, going for the middle. Italians don't need to push. They lead by... Nine rounds now. Yeah, they, they have a wait. comfortable lead here indeed. Now wall guys might moving see in. some action here now. Spot oh, over. over. Nice hit there. So now it's two versus two. So it seems like over is living. Like low on health here and it's in the Spanish moving in. And 5 to 13, with 7 minutes left, they really need to step up their game. They can still do it if they keep the pace high and cracks coming. <sighs> then going for the flank again. But the Italians is covering their flank pretty good. Zero XP taking down dams there. Which actually went around the player. Oh, and the Italians or the Spanish are not checking that flank there. Spanish team players are making their move now. Make up their move from the flanks and through the middle. Volgar too late to help his teammate there. And one against two is not a good situation you want to be in. Risk some amazing hits here on uh, that boy. So Itachito alone left, and Overtake comes out with the Deagle. So 16 to 5, so this is pretty much game of this round for the Spanish yeah. team. It's, it's almost impossible done. for them to catch up at this point.
Bridge rushing and taking out ACOC. Tito here left against four Italian players, and they were all nearby the water tank area, so. This is going pretty much as the whole game or whole map has been going on. The um, Spanish play uh, spreads too thin, and the uh, Italians much quicker and much more tight groups, making killing out individually much faster. Puck again, flying by Dems here. I'm trying to take out Serial XP2, but Serial XP is a bit quicker here on the Deagle. I think the so 18 to 5. The Spanish team maybe should have changed their tactic a little bit. They're doing the same like at the beginning every round. Yeah, yeah, Dem's flanking here again, but he keeps running into two Italian players here. Sure, he yeah, they, they notice already that he flanks there every round, so... They should have tried something new, maybe. Yeah, but the Italians seem to be adapting really quickly here on this map. Simply they're moving up a little bit, or actually much faster than the Spanish player here. Dems with a grenade. Bridge. No target, but there's Tucker. And get them take Dems taken out by Tucker's D36. Olga here with the automatic trying to take out two Italian players, but over is... make the game over for... Uh, We'll go there. So again, a very quick round by the Italians here. I barely had time to actually see what went on there. Both teams seemed to be rushing, but the Italians was much quicker here on the right and the kills. And again here. The Spanish player taken out very quickly by the Italian team here, and Italians with still four players left. Make it very easy to finish off uh, whatever's left. And the Spanish team here lost two players again. With only two players left, or actually one player left. Wow, this is really going very fast by the Italian team. 32 to 5. This, uh, Quite the schooling here on how to play Tunga TS. So, Toddy alone with the three guys taking out the first one and he's full HP. Totti alone here against Volgar, but Volgar with a nice double helmet there. But still, it's not enough to uh, win this map. The croc quite separated from the rest of his play here at the park. Moving up the middle here alone, nobody checking his flank, so he's Getting flanked by Briss, but luckily he could take him out before he got killed. But Tucker here moves in from the middle, take him out with the G36. Talon's moving in here from the left side, trying to shoot at them at the mechanic. Or actually, it was Volga? Or Dems? Oh, actually, both of them there. Zero XP now, alone left, moving up to the mechanics. Take note of the first take one. Them yep. out here. Ogre is trying to flank here, but bleed out by 0 XP. Nice try, but unfortunately not enough. Ecrog moving in here from the middle. Take one guy out. 4 versus 3. Oh, he didn't play behind him, but luckily Dames was there to help him out. But Cheeto did not cover his angle or check his angle there. Did not spot the bridge here on his right angle. He thought he was still silo, but 
Bruce with a nice snap on Folga there. This will probably be the last round. Itacito left with three Italian guys again. Yeah, and the Italians are playing in the very tight groups, so if he takes one out, there's gonna be the second one. So yep. 26 to 6, and the Spanish team got lots of schools here on Tonga. So, what do you think for the second map next to? You think they will be raping them again like that, or? Well, Orbital is a map that can also be played very fast, and from what we've seen on Tunga, uh, if the Italians play are gonna be all automatic again, they might actually um, do similar playstyle, just rush and uh, just take them out quickly. Yeah, I think so. But this is um, the Spanish uh, choice of map, so we'll see, but um, they really need to step up their game if they want to uh, at least tie the game. Yeah, we're still waiting for uh, the GTV details. Okay, they're up now. So, second map is going to be Orbital. I can say that Orbital is definitely played more uh, as a third-party team survivor map than uh, Tohunga. So, uh, this might uh, make the, yeah. Well, this will break, uh, make or break uh, Spain's. Uh, attempt here at uh, winning their first match. Let me just uh, switch over to the server. There you go. You can see that we're just waiting for both teams to ready up. And as Keko told me before the match, they will have some changes now by the second map. They won't play the same lineup. Okay. Well, they definitely had enough uh, substitutes before the match started. Yeah, on the roster actually, Ofer is the co-captain for the CTF team, so um, maybe he's, they will, will be uh, swapping him out. So it seems uh, my prediction was right. Over is stepping out for. Uh, it seems to be Keko. Over actually joined the Spanish team. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe he wants to help them. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> oh, he's back in the Italian team now. Oh, nice! <laughs> nice moving drone. But yes, uh, Tohunga is definitely a more close, closed map than uh, Orbital. I think maybe uh, Spain could. Uh, well, I don't know what their tactics are, of course, but if they want to uh, make use of snipers or create distance between them and the opponent, then Orbital could be suited for a little bit of SRA action. Yeah, the Orbital is uh, suitable for different types of uh, play. You can play very conservative here and um, fight a holding area and uh, put SRA snipers in use for that. But you can also play very fast and just rush with automatics. Yeah, especially through middle, uh, both uh, 
routes through middle, middle are uh, suited for automatic rushes. Uh, I yeah, guess we might see uh, Nate's being uh, to good use here on this map. What were you going to say, Quester? Oh, yeah, I think the Italians will make that automatic style because they are more forced on automatic weapons than on SR8. Yeah. Yeah, why change a winning tactic? So we're still waiting here for the teams to ready up. Before everybody starts saying new G36, just wait till you see it in the right hands. <laughs> like any weapon, to be honest. I uh, saw some people commenting on the, in the GTV chat that uh, <laughs> gay 36 etc. No, it's uh, believe me, it can be a very powerful weapon. Well, the G36 stats-wise is really not that bad. Um, it has uh, actually lower spread than the LR, at least LR without laser and silencer. Hmm. It has just a lower rate of fire and. Yeah, that's actually about it. So it's really not such a bad of weapon. At least spread wise it's better than uh, vanilla LR or M4. Yeah, and of course it, uh, accuracy wise uh, when you look at it you can also zoom in naturally. And well, camping at blue box for instance here on the uh, orbital with a G36 or an SR8? Oh, it's actually better for uh, SR8. Uh, yeah, naturally it's better, but I mean, I'd rather have a G36 there than an LR300, if it were up to me. Yeah, definitely if they're pushing from this server area here where Itachito is, you can want an SR8 there. So looking at uh, the weapons the player are using in the warm up, we it's safe to say that uh, the Italian's gonna play a full automatic again and just gonna keep a rushing tactics. Blue team wins. Yeah, and I think Spain is going to be the same, but maybe rely a bit more on their experience here on the orbital. Oh, I've seen a lot of the Talons team play Orbital as well, but uh, maybe they pick Orbital or Tohunga as their map of choice because, uh, as you said, uh, not so many teams played it in TS. Mm -hmm. Although it's actually getting more and more popular lately from what I've seen. Yeah, Alright, so the match is going to start. This is going to be the second map. This map is a choice for Team Spain, so... Let's see how this go. And for those that just tuned in, the first map was won by uh, Team Italy. And the first round goes to Italy again. Alright, so Over is here pushing command center with the nade. No players coming in yet. Ogre here at the electric. As Checking team both, blockers. both teams are pushing very much at the beginning. No, Ogre alone left here but take out two players. Very weak and over finish the job. Pressure in the middle, flanking bad boy. Really terrible uh, lag here uh, on the embrace. It's amazing how he can get such hit with that kind of lag. Or maybe he's just used it. Acrox 
spot a player there. But he's alone. And. Price Bridge there, but Heckle is coming up. And. Not finishing in the job. A Croc is bleeding. I'm gonna call an ambulance for A Croc. Echo is also low, but not as low as uh, Acro. Echo moving up at the stairs. Acro waiting here. Oh, no hits by Keko. Ooh, a little bit of standoff here, and Keko wins. So that's 3 0 for Team Italy. Italy rushing here, come on, Santo. Keko will get taken out by the Spanish player, Taco with a nade, and take someone out before. Or oh, actually, that's now 2 2. Dems alone here against their XP. Ita Chita moving up, looking for cereal. Their weight knows that he's gonna get flanks. He's checking out there. Oh, too bad for Itachito. Zero XP got a little bit better hits there. So 14 0. Eco uh. getting. Oh. This is not going well for Team Spain here. And it's the 5 0 again, like on Tuhunga. A good start for Team Italy. Talents with some really uh, great hits here on uh, both maps. Nice job by Volga here. Free, play, free Spanish player here at the command center. But two of them seem to be low on health. Bridge moving up from the middle. Get taken out by Dems and Itachito. Dems got taken out by Kiko. Zero XP here, just trying to spam behind him, but Volgar takes him out, finish the job, first round for Team Spain here. Bad boy pre-nading there. Moving up together with a -Clock. Nice check on his flank here, and take out two players. But he... Tucker flanked him instead. Dem's very low here, trying to fight it over. Get taken out by Briss. Chito here with the two man kill and winning the second round for Team it uh, Spain here. Still pushing command center. Echo with uh, some uh, ninja jump. There's a lots of packet loss there on this uh, mega meter. Yeah, I, I wanted to yeah. say the same, he's lagging a lot. Yeah, but he's actually uh, leading his team uh, frag-wise. In fact, he's having the most frag on the server right now. And it is to try and fight off two Italian players here, but uh, no dice here for him. Italy trying to find an opening to push up at the command center here. A little bit of a reckless rush there by the Spanish player. Voga alone left and trying to move up to crossing. 
picking up his uh, rear from uh, infirmary. Moving up to main. Zero XP and over somewhere on the map. And Volga's trying to find him and he finds him in infirmary but zero XP faster on the trigger. If he could nade a little bit longer, he'd get them both, I think. Well, Zero XP trying to heal the teammate but getting hit by bad boy. So they decide to go to the red room for some medic action. Zero XP finds two Spanish players there but get taken out. Or you could take them both out. So two first two, bad boy Itachito versus Kekko and Over. Over moving up here in Invermary. With Kekko. And the Spanish player seems to be splitting up again. Oh, right, but no, no, actually no, they're, they're going to each other. Going to Matt now. The Italians are waiting on the infirmary. And we yeah, the Italians are probably trying to buy time uh, with only 12 minutes left. And they got 92, so they are in advantage. They don't really need to make the move here. Bad boy is moving up to the infirmary here. Maybe he will find them. Oh, yeah, nice, nice uh, headshot here on uh, over by bad boy. Echo along here, getting pushed here by the Spanish team. Echo shooting at the wall there. That's not a way to kill people here in urban terror. It's not a counter strike where you can wall bang someone. A nice pushing here by the Italians. They pushed server and the locker room, taking out three. Bains actually. Volger along left again. Trying to fend up here against Kekko. <laughs> he was like coming like, come, come, try to kill me. So ten to three here, uh, eleven minutes left. Uh, Team Spain is gonna unlikely gonna draw this m match here. Looking at the pace, how the Italians been playing, and in fact, how they've been playing is very hard for the, the Spanish team to actually um, take this map back to their hands. Ikrog waiting here at the boxes, trying to move, trying to cover the server area here. There's getting some help from his teammates, but he's got flanked here by his over. Bad boy versus Taka here. A lot of spraying by bad boy, not getting any hits. And Taka mo moving up here with the nades, pre nading. Dems not having his flank covered and get easily taken out by Taka. And bad boy in a bad situation there, getting. Or actually getting boxed in there. And over with the grenade at the, <laughs> at the command center and actually take someone out with it. Two actually. Mm. And it's a cheetah alone left and no chance again. Here, getting boxed in from two sides. So, Opa moving up here to crossing. Volga with a nice hit there on uh, Tucker. And only two Spanish play left. Against two Italian players, Kek going over. Spanish player getting a little bit of metting up. Over and Kek in infirmary again. Spanish moving up to command center. Trying to make their move to crossing or Bio. Yeah, they're going to crossing and going to infirmary. So Kekko versus Ichito. Ichito here making a rush. Hunting down uh, Kekko, but Kekko was, was a little bit faster. Move up. Oh, he ran to the red room. 
It's a cheat out, yeah, nice hunting him down. 4 2 13, but it's probably not gonna happen for Team Spain here. To win this map. They need 9 rounds and they got only 8 minutes for it. It's a cheat here, taken out by Briss here. Ogar, very low on health, alone here at servers. Trying to get away here. But not fast enough. And another round for Team Italy here. 14 to 4. What do you think, Neku? Can Team Spain come back or. Well, uh, no. Uh, I mean, realistically, looking at. Uh, even their laggy play has like a uh, tremendous amount of uh, hits and frags. So. And the, the team Spain is lacking a little bit of on uh, teamwork there, even though they actually win another round here. Acroc with some nice action here. Team Italy with only Kekel left against four Spanish players. Acroc getting a little bit of medic here. Kekel is very weak, alone in Red Room. And he finds Bad Boy, and Bad Boy takes him out. Dems rushing with a grenade here to the middle. Seems to be trying to prepare for a rush here. But in fact, they are running in a sort of circle here. Oh, the Spanish team is playing better here on this map than they were on Tunga. Or maybe the other way around, uh, Italy is not playing as good as they were on Tunga. Consider there's um, not having as much. Rounds here as they did on Tunga, but still their their team play is very tight. Their hits are very good, so they're still having a very comfortable lead here. And Volgar finds himself once again alone here against three tennis player. Narrowly escaped once, but Echo finished the job. What he did not do earlier. Echo moving up here to command center. Getting a lot of damage here on Spanish player before. Bad boy alone here in the middle. Looking for Keko. And nice finishing. 8 to 5. Well. If they actually keep this pace and going, Team Spain might actually have a chance. They need uh, a lot more rounds to equalize it. Yeah, they need to hurry up a little bit. They have seven rounds left and five minutes left. So oh, nice grenades by Bad Boy there. Over long left against three Spanish players, but Over is taking up a cozy position here at the blue box. Maybe he can uh, get a draw out of it if he uh, ice himself well. And here's a Spanish player here. There. Spanish player pushing up, but oh, Acroc rushing in, looking at the wrong side. Oh, over even lower on health now from the grenade, but he takes. It's gonna be one versus one, and that boy should be actually low on health too. He received some damage earlier. Red team wins. Oh, and bad boy finishing. No three main kills here for over. But nice try. Did manage to fend off against two players there. Nice action here by Bad Boy. Ah. 
Mr. XP making a pusher with very low health. Taking games out. He's shooting at the walls again. And Sir XP killed the Cheeto here. So 60 to 9, 3 minutes left. This is pretty much the end of Team Spain here. Okay, here's the medicking up, but Sir XP is well come in and take the shot and there goes uh, the Spanish player. Oh sorry, my bad internet is showing up again. Team Spain fending off uh talent players here. Four versus two situation here. So Team Spain should be able to take another round here. Three shooting A crop. Moving into boxes and 17 to 10 for Team Spain. But with two minutes left, there's uh, actually very little Team Spain can do to win this map. But they can still at least show what they're worth, so. Consider Team uh, Italy here is, uh, is uh, highly favored in this Nations Cup, so if they can actually do well, that might be promising for their. Future matches. Team Italy making a push here from the servers and takes Team Spain out like they always do this match. Tight group and a lot of guns. Acrog again, alone here, and getting naded by himself. Oh, actually, he naded them. Come, <laughs> bad boy with a flying carry on over. Over did not hear bad boy at all there. Bad boy making a, a push here. Finish off zero XP. Finds Keko here, but Keko is quicker here and wins another round for Italy. So close to the end, we can say it was a very well played match by Italy. What do you think, Nexu? Yeah, I mean between these two Mediterranean countries, uh, Italy showed that they are the better ones. Although Team Spain did show some nice uh, coordinated team action every now and then, but Team Italy was simply the better one. team here. Yeah. So this was the. This was actually the first like um, match that's supposedly a bit of more uh, interesting, but turns out to be a bit one-sided here in Italy being much stronger. Yep, pizza beats paella all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was a was a good match. Unfortunately, uh, Spain didn't bring their A game. I think. Or well, one thing's for sure that Italy uh, have a really strong squad this year. I mean, if you also look at their uh, the names, well, you see them back in uh, high division uh, clans in other. Uh, Competitions like Urban Zone, for instance. Um, I'd uh, like to just give a quick shout out to SC Sailor Moon for uh, being the GTV cameraman this evening. Thanks a lot. And uh, naturally, also to Nexu and Questor for shoutcasting. Hope uh, both will be interested in shoutcasting a little bit more now and then. And uh, Thanks a lot for watching, of course. Um, we'll be uploading these matches to uh, YouTube uh, when 
and if I find a time, well, I will find a time, but it's just when. Um, and uh, naturally, I hope that the audio and video sync problem on YouTube videos will be solved by then. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you ha all had a good weekend, and uh, we'll be back maybe even tomorrow with uh, yet another Nations Cup match. And don't forget, you still Denmark have... Denmark versus Poland. Yeah, exactly. You still have 53 minutes remaining to sign up to uh, the Urban Zone Leagues. Thanks for watching and good night.